If you're trying to stave off Alzheimer's and dementia by doing crossword puzzles to keep your brain healthy, you also need to check your hearing. Taylor Parker from Concept by Iowa Hearing explains how the risk of dementia soars with even mild hearing loss. Yes. It, and it, all the studies bear this out. A, a brand new one does, too. Huh? Yeah. Um, you know, Johns Hopkins, Cambridge University, Stanford, you know, they all are uh, have been working on this for a long time. Johns Hopkins has been doing it for about 30 years. Mm -hmm. So they have, a, a you know, an abundant amount of data that they look at. And the funny thing is, you know, 10, 12 years ago, this the first study came out that talked about you're two to five times more likely to develop dementia with an untreated hearing loss. And that original study looked at, at an older individual, meaning like 70, 75, and that was the original study. The newest study started looking at age 50 and above. Yeah. And what yeah. they found was that individuals that have normal hearing or treat their hearing loss, will, it'll, take, it'll take twice as long to develop dementia versus someone. So mm -hmm. it'll, it expedites the process when, they, when you don't treat your hearing loss. So if you're walking around with an untreated hearing loss, and most individuals from the time they get their hearing checked with the hearing loss, wait seven to 10 years to treat it, and that's once they have a loss and they, sure. and they got checked. And so when you know that even mild hearing loss doubles that dementia risk, this bears out this new study, that is, um, that's strong stuff. I yeah. mean, really, it's something you'd want to do and something a, about. And a mild hearing loss, most people would walk in and they would say, oh, it's mild, I'm fine, I'm gonna wait a little while. Right. And they'll let it go. And the issue is, you know, if you came in today, Paul, and got your hearing checked, and we said you had a mild hearing loss, mm -hmm. and you said, well, you know, I'm, I'm not quite ready yet, which is what most people do, yes. not quite ready yet, yes. and you go home, and you wake up tomorrow morning, you're not gonna notice the effects of dementia unless you have that, unless you have a cognitive decline already, but from your hearing loss, you're not gonna notice that tomorrow. You're still no. gonna have your hearing loss issues, but you're not gonna notice that tomorrow, and you wait that average seven to 10 years. The issue is, mm -hmm. when you decide to treat your hearing loss, your brain doesn't go back to that form seven to 10 years ago. So you've caused some cognitive issues in that seven to 10 year period that you, you can't erase. You will not get back. Correct. Once your brain starts to have that loss or that shrinkage, yes. it does not regenerate. You've, you've now completely and permanently changed the form of your brain. Uh, um, use of hearing aids decrease dementia. Symptoms by up to 75%. Yes, yes. Um, so for everybody, out there watching right now is saying, I don't want to wear hearing aids. That's what old people wear. It, yeah. It's a brain issue. And, mm -hmm. and that's really what it boils down to is treating your hearing loss is not an ear issue. It's a brain issue. And it has nothing to do with an age. Cochlear implants were designed for uh, babies born deaf. So hearing loss can happen at any given time. The number one type of hearing loss is noise exposure. And when that happens, it happens. Um, you know, my father-in-law lost his hearing when he was 21, shooting a 357 Magnum, took one time. Wow. And he didn't treat his hearing loss until he was 65. And he has some cognitive issues now, mm. but it was related to mm. him waiting 44 years to treat his hearing loss. So here's the bottom line, you guys, this very last point. Get your hearing checked earlier. So that means you need to go in for a baseline, you say before age 50. This, we're starting to say now about age 45. Yeah. Unless you've been exposed to noise, have issues. If someone around you is maybe commenting, usually those around you will see it three to five years before you'll recognize it mm -hmm. internally, that aha moment that you have. So if someone around you is saying, hey, you know, and it's not just, hey, you don't listen to me. It's huh. more of on a continual basis of, I don't think you're hearing very well. Hmm. It's a free hearing screening get it checked yeah did you hear that <laughs> did you hear it <laughs> a free hearing screening because if i come in now well i'm way over 50 but if if a 45 year old comes to you and says i want to get this this baseline do most 45 year olds have some hearing loss now do you see it we're starting to see much younger um i would say our, our average age now of patients is in the high 50s low 60s okay where it used to be in the 70s yes uh we're just seeing it and you know a lot of it has to do with uh men and women men are reactive women are proactive when it comes to health usually the wife the spouse someone is the driving force in that hmm. um, so we're seeing things younger just because women are just and uh, you know, the, the baby boomers were seeing their parents, they were involved in their parents' health decisions. Mm -hmm. So people were being more proactive about things. So we were seeing people mm -hmm. much earlier because they wanted to 
enjoy time. They wanted to spend time together and be able to communicate better. Well, you know, if you're someone my age, you know, you've been to a lot of concerts and, um, you know, we didn't know to protect our ears. And uh, that's, I'm sure we're all feeling it now. 70% of individuals over the age of 70 have some type of hearing loss. Um, over the age of 60, it goes down to like 45%. So, okay. you know. About half of us. Yeah, I mean, it's, really? it just is. It's, it's, a, it's a fact of life and it's not something that we can say, oh, I know I'll have to do it when I get older, but I'm gonna put it over here on the side, knowing the cognitive issues that are being compounded by not treating your hearing okay. loss. It, it's really compelling, the reason. Uh, are you in hearing aids yet, Taylor? I'm not. You're not we'll I worry about it every day. I mean, but I bet but you I'm do. Not. But you're getting your hearing checked, I hope, since you own these places. Okay. <laughs> on a regular basis. <laughs> on a regular basis. Concept by Iowa Hearing. The, remember the free test. Free, free, free. And all those locations in uh, Davenport, Clinton. You got a couple more, don't you? Dubuque. Coralville or Iowa City, Cedar are you, Rapids. Are you on we go all the way to Des Moines. Are you in Illinois or only Iowa? Only in Iowa right but, now, yep. But, but if you live in Illinois, you can always come to there, the Iowa there's side. A, there are a couple bridges between um, Illinois and Iowa, so you just, just come right over. That's right. Just drive your car and that gladly, new bridge. Gladly help. Okay. Thank you, Taylor. Thank Good you. Good seeing you.